Hey guys, I'm back, and we have something I 3D printed. The printer needs a new nozzle, so this is something I printed a while ago. It's not recent, but I never showcased it, so here it is. Um, yeah, YouTube, um, don't, don't get mad at me for saying this, but, um, yeah, it's called Massacre Satan. I, I feel like YouTube's probably gonna take this video down because of that, but, um, that, that's okay. I'll just re-upload it. There's nothing they can do. Well, actually, they'll just terminate my account, but that's besides the point. It's an evolution of Curse Satan, and the parts are... It was originally going to have a custom armor called 12, but it was plastic and had no weight, so I didn't use that. So I didn't use 12 because of those reasons. So instead, I just went with 2, because it's like, I don't have 6. 6 just doesn't feel right. I don't really want to use 10 or 0. It's just, I felt like 2 would just be good. The the wheels aren't free spinning. They are hot glue because like the wheels that were there originally were just too small. So yeah, I just made them bigger. And I I do like the detailing on there. The gold and green there just looks really nice in my opinion. The purple S looks nice. I've done some launches with it, so the paint's chipped slightly. Yeah. Now we have the disc which is tapered it has this piece which i'm calling the impact piece instead of gear because it's not a nexus so it's a full rubber piece which if a bay tries to hit it from the bottom it will absorb hits and it has a driver a custom one called multiverse it's just practically universe but smaller but it actually is a sharp tip sort of its teeth are terrible because the spring doesn't actually really work properly, so it's like, though, the, it's terrible. Yes, I had the tear apart driver, and this and this is why the spring doesn't work because I tore this apart to make a lock for something, then I reused it, so yeah, that's why the teeth are absolutely horrendous. So I had to add some rubber here. I had to add some rubber here to so help with burst resistance. I'm not going to put it in high mode because it looks absolutely horrendous in high mode, but yeah, let's get into the test launch and test battles. It starts off quite aggressive. Multiverse does start off quite aggressive, but it does calm down. It doesn't have very good stamina because I don't know why, but when I like put the teeth in, because this, this core, its teeth weren't made properly, so I had to print another one, but the detailing came out rough, so I mixed them. And its stamina is just off, you know, for some reason, I can't, it, the teeth were in sideways, so now it's off and I can't fix it, so. It only has good stamina on hard launches. It also doesn't help that it crashes into the walls and stuff. But, yeah, now that's over, let's get into the test battles. Also, just a bit of a side note, I am buying Ultimate's parts separately on um, Bays and Bricks. Bays and Bricks is good, so I would recommend using Bays and Bricks. I am buying its parts separately, but soon I'll have um, Ultimate completed. This is what I bought so far of it. I just need to get the armor, disc, and driver. I have the stickers and dr disc on the way in the mail, so yeah, but back to Satan, because that's the main important thing of the video. Okay, now we're going to use a combo that I personally think is cool, which is Cyclone Satan to um, tapered impact piece multiverse. I, I just like how it looks. It just looks really nice in my opinion, but you you may not like it, but I, I really do like how it looks. So I'm going to like do like a test launch and a couple of test battles with it. But yeah, here we go. This is cyclone satan it doesn't like the core doesn't go down enough for the wings to actually be used so yeah that really sucks but yeah let's get into like a test launch and test battle sorry about the back no ground noise though
Yeah, so it does look kind of funny if you ask me, but I still like it. Okay, so time for the test battles. So that was um so that was Cyclone Satan. I, I really like this combo, it looks nice. I'm pretty sure I have the parts public on Tinkercad if you want to go and print this out for yourself. But yeah, the massacre blade is gonna look slightly different. The wheels are gonna be smaller and gonna be hollow. If you if you want you can try to modify it to look like this. But if you don't want to do any modification, go ahead download that one. So yeah, but yeah, it's time to end the video now. Oh wait, before I end the video, I'm gonna like, like show you like the difference between its teeth with multiverse and with a different driver. Now with multiverse, you can't even really hear it. Very silent, right? But then with a different driver. Yeah, so you can really see how the spring's just not working in multiverse. But, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry about that. It's, Kind of distracting, but yeah, I'm going to end the video for real now. So that was Massacre Satan. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Once I get a new nozzle for my 3D printer, I do plan to do more videos like this. I'll just, you'll just have to wait till I get a new nozzle. And I will make some more DBU and BU evolutions. It's for Bayes that I should get one. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Stay safe and have fun. Bye.